Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we've got to repivot an arbor, repivot and straighten an arbor on a fourth wheel next to the fly uh, on a German movement. And before I can do that, I want to have a little tool gloat. Um, I just received a tool from England. Uh, made by a gentleman by the name of J. Malcolm Wild, and uh, you may have heard of him. He's very, quite famous in uh, in England uh, for not only for his clock repair work, but the tools that he makes. So uh, before we go into the actual job, I wanted to show you this tool because it is just so beautiful and so beautifully made. Uh, that it's it's proud I'm proud to own own it. He doesn't make very many. Um, I also have his depthing tool, um, and I think he makes like four at a time or something like that. But there, it's not many. So uh, I'm, it's a privilege to own it. So uh, let me change the camera, and we'll uh, I'll show you the tool. This is called a staking tool. Uh, this is a clockmaker staking tool because they also make one uh, smaller. Um, well, hold on a second, I'll show you that one too. This is a watchmaker staking tool. And uh, this is the actual tool, and these are all the stakes. These are called stumps. And um, the one I'm going to show you here that, that uh, Malcolm made is the same thing only bigger this is just so beautifully made uh, the base and this arm are cast everything else is machined um, and here's how it's used this has a stop right here so that when you line, this is the uh, centering tool, and you put that in there, and you can line up this, this moves, as you can see, and when you're against the stake here, um, and you tighten that, you can then move the plate here on the bottom until you get that absolutely straight with, with the uh, centering tool. Then you can move this is what's so cool. You can move this out of the way, put your part in. This is the part we're working on. You can't really maybe you can see that. Right there is the pivot and that's broken broken right off. And maybe if I can spin it you can see see how out of round it is this pivot is bent, the arbor is bent back in here. So, whoop. Now the first thing we have to do is take the arbor off the wheel, or take the wheel off the arbor. So we put that in there. We put this collet in there, or so that we can get the right size for this particular stake. Now this one, because now maybe that will work. I was going to say because the, the arbor is bent, we may not be able to center it. We may have to move it over a little bit, but that looks pretty good. Okay. We're not all the way through. You can see we drove it down until it's even with the wheel. And in the process, we pulled the bottom part, the bottom part of the uh, lantern pinions out, which is no problem. That's easy. So now we have to take it the rest of the way off, and to do that, we need a different stake. Here's one with a sharper point on it. Let's see if we can drive it a little further.
almost so since we don't have any stakes that are that deep I'm going to use a tool I made this is just a piece of uh, brass rod that's knurled on the end with a piece of pivot wire in the end right here put in the proper size hole the same size hole as the wire and also uh, put in with Loctite we don't need to worry about it being straight anymore because we're already down through the part so we can drive that the rest of the way through with the uh, there we are you can see the all the trundles in the landing pinion are still there there, there you go see? and you can see how bent the the arbor is so next we have to take the arbor off and to do that we take the trundles off the, the arbor and to do that we're going to need a different size hole here because we want this to fit like that so where's our here it is so this is all the way over against the stop and this is going to be moved like that until it's absolutely centered put our cut back in okay we're going to try a different stake this time actually I don't well let's try this one this has a little bit uh, larger end flatter end on it whoops <laughs> hold on I'll do the whole process over again because this is too high Okay, we're centered. I think. No, we're not. We weren't over against the stop. Now we're centered. Put the bushing in. Put the arbor in. Put the stake in. Let's see if we can drive that out the rest of the way. Yes. The problem, the problem is that that's so bent that it won't even drive out of there. It won't drive straight. So we're going to have to do a different method. Okay, I tapped that down just a little just with the hammer. And I think it's now to the point where we can just twist it off. Yeah, it's moving. Nope, it's not going off. I have to try the. Uh... Have to try the largest of the. Uh... Tools that I made. Okay, it's all the way down. Small, smaller one, so we can drive it on through. 
there it's out so there we have the lantern pinion by itself and here we have the arbor I don't know if you can see that or not but that sucker is really bent right there you can see it see how bent that is the very first thing we have to do is straighten the arbor now that we've got it all apart um, in the meantime I want to show you the box that this tool came in this is I may have to move the camera but this is just so amazing even the box is beautifully made and this is the uh, the tool goes in here when you're not using it and these are all the stakes that come with it and three different size bushings for the different size stakes um, it is truly a, an amazing piece of work um, and like I said I'm real happy with it okay so now we've got our wheel our, our lantern pinion and our arbor which I lost or here it is we have gremlins here in the shop at least that's what we think it is that if we drop something a little screw or something we pretty much don't bother to try to find it because uh, the gremlins run out and grab it and put it in their stash and uh, that's the end of it so we've pretty much given up trying to find stuff little screws that we drop on the floor so okay We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're over to the middle lathe uh, with a 564 4C collet. And before you uh, put these in the machine, you always want to clean them. Make sure the threads are clean because they uh, they gather all kinds of chips and the stuff in there and this is clean here your finger is the best thing to do that with the drawer bar really doesn't get uh, dirty because it's always inside the the um, spindle now we want to put the this bent you can see that it's bent right there where that small section is so we're going to put this in here right up to the edge of that where the bend is there now when we turn this you can see what's happening and if we uh, if we put a point at the other end one second like that we can see how much it's actually uh, out of straight quite a bit quite a bit so if we can carefully bend this over by hand without breaking it that's close but not close enough it takes a little patience oh look at that that was lucky that was really lucky it's dead on so now we have a straight arbor just luck guys Okay, now we have to pivot it, or re-pivot it actually. So we'll put that in, we'll turn it around, put it in the other way around. And uh, let me set this up. The pivots, this pivot is still good, the one on this end, 
but the pivots on an arbor are are normally are all, I, I would go so far as to say always the same size so this one is 027 so <clears throat> we want to match that when we put the new the new pivot in there okay this is fairly soft because it's an American clock uh, French clocks some German clocks are glass hard and they're really really fragile you can bust a pivot off just by looking at it um, and they're very very hard to drill so this is what is it it's a 3-0 center drill and it's solid carbide so we're going to use that to go in there which I use almost always use carbide it just it makes a nicer job and drills a nice clean hole there it is that's a little fast file the end of that flat. There's a little thing sticking up on it and I don't want to... That's better. Center drill will have a better chance of hitting the dead center. Okay, our pivot is uh, 027 and this is um, 026 which is good one thou difference in there is just fine this is also carbide very gently my rule of thumb for how deep this is is six times the uh, diameter of the pivot These carbide drills cut so beautifully. The problem is they're really fragile. <laughs> and you gotta be careful that you don't snap them off. They're not cheap either. Okay, we'll get some pivot wire. So that's it for this evening. I uh, hope you liked that. Um, <clears throat> if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Um, thanks to Tom Lipton and his mention of my channel on his channel uh, a week or so ago I've got I got 500 subscriptions almost overnight so thank you Tom <laughs> um, <clears throat> so if you like that please subscribe and like and share it with other friends if uh, you think they like this kind of thing and I'll see you the next time thanks for watching <laughs>